Leicester. Oh. What is up everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is a highly anticipated video for us and I hope for you too. If you're a regular watcher of our channel, this is not the typical video that we do. We make vlogs about our life and our family. We're the proud owner of twins <laughs> who are currently sleeping. So we're getting this done as quick as we can. <laughs> So we're gonna turn our garage into a home gym and we're gonna bring you along throughout the whole process and tell you what we did. And then at the end of this video, we're gonna show you where we get to. If you enjoy this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new and comment down below. Let us know if you have any ideas for the gym. So when we moved into this house, we saw the garage and straight away we were like, so this is gonna be a gym, isn't it eventually? Is, yeah. So I wanted somewhere that I could still do my regular workout, like my compound movements, so squats, deadlifts. I still wanted somewhere that I could use dumbbells. I just wanted a gym away from the gym, if yeah. that makes sense. Like I wanted it to still be the same as if I was going to a gym. Does that make sense? Like I wanted sense. I wanted a squat rack, I wanted the dumbbells, I wanted, um, I also wanted to get a treadmill as well because yeah, I love do doing sprints, sprints. As part of the Beyond app, that is actually part of the workout on the Beyond app. By yeah. the way, Ellen's a Beyond ambassador. If you want to sign up, <laughs> shameless plug, link in the description. <laughs> it is the best app though, and I have been using it for years. Essentially though, like Elle said, we just wanted a gym away from the gym. We yeah. wanted a space where when you walk in and you're like, okay, this is sick. So the first thing that we did in there is we knew we wanted to change the garage door because the oh, one that was yeah. on the house originally on the yeah. garage was like a good bit of wood. It was really thick but there was a huge gap along the yeah. top and it was making the house freezing. It, it was, yeah, like this end of the house was so cold. So we bought a roller door from eBay. Luckily, my brother knew how to fit this because yeah. we got a quote for one and it was like three and a half grand, wasn't it? But we found one on eBay for 600 odd pound. I think it was 680. My brother came and fitted it for free and it's just ideal for us. Aside from the gym, we use that to bring the pram in and out. Yeah, so it's just don't. like so worth it. Yeah. So yeah. if you can get one from eBay, I'll link the one we got below. If you know someone that can fit it, then mm. do that. Before the roof was open, wasn't it? It was just it was. like wooden struts and obviously like storage and stuff. Yeah. Up there. And you could see right up to the roof. Yeah. So we knew that we wanted to kind of sort that out and put in like a false roof kind of thing, didn't we? Yeah. So what we did is we just went, kind of went for like the cheapest option and just plasterboarded it, put a bit yeah. of insulation up yeah. there to help with the heat. Yeah. Brother and my dad did the ceiling and the lighting and everything when we yeah. were away actually, weren't we? Yeah. And funny thing, do you remember my mum was record, I asked my mum to record some clips for me. Yeah. And she rang me up and she was like, Fab, I don't think you can use this footage because your dad and your brother kept winding me up saying that they were, they were meant to be in prison and stuff like this. <laughs> so when I got back, I watched the footage and I was crying. So now this. <laughs> Right, Fab's dad's gone now, but he's actually finished all of the lights. So I'm going to show you now, and I've also managed to paint about three quarters of a wall. All of the lights have been done. This has all get, got to be taped up and plastered, skimmed, skimmed, before it can be, then be painted. And this is what I've managed to do of the wall. So in terms of what colour we were going to paint the gym, me and Fab went a bit back and forth with this, didn't we? Mm. I really wanted to paint it black, just because I think black looks so clean. It reminds me of the gym. I just, I just don't know. There's just something about a black gym. Most gyms are black, aren't they? And it just looks clean, professional. Yeah. But the downside to black is that it sucks all of the light away. Yeah. So that was like something that we were kind of going back and forth I mean, about. Having an hour about we were, whether we were going to do it grey, yeah. or whether we were going to do it black. Anyway, we went, we went with black in the end. In terms of painting it, loads of people online would say that the paint didn't go on very well, but yes. we bought masonry paint yeah. and masonry brushes yeah. from Wix. Yeah. And um, oh, well, I can't take credit for this, you did most the of The trick it. to getting it on the wall is applying loads of paint. So on the roller, literally like scooping up loads of paint and just getting it on. The thicker you put it on, obviously the less layers you've got to do. But if you do it thinly, you just end up with loads of holes and it takes ages doing it like that. No, Fabian, we have a, a tight schedule. Yes, and this needs doing.
we use 10 litres of paint and we've still yeah. got a little bit left to paint. So yeah. 10 litres covered most of the I would the say about 12 litres would probably do yeah. the whole of our garage. So once the ceiling went up, we basically got fed up of waiting and wanted to use the gym. Um, so we Because ordered... we got fed up of waiting because the gym equipment had been in the gym for, months. for four months. Yeah. So we were just like, oh, just do you know what? Us, like, yeah. Do you know what? Let's get it. Let's get the flooring down. The flooring was actually from Black Box, by the way. Right, that's most things out. Now it's time to brush, and I've only got this B Tech broken brush, which is way too small. So, rest in peace, my back. That arrived, we got all that out, swept the garage floor, which took ages with the tiny little <laughs> Hobbit brush that we've got. It took me ages, right? And it was very daunting because there was loads of dust coming up. And on all the videos I've watched online, people would use like the self-leveling concrete. So I was thinking, do we really need that? Like, I yeah. honestly didn't know how the flooring was gonna turn out, yeah. but looks I think incredible. I think it had already been leveled out, the flooring in there. It was pretty flat, wasn't it? So yeah. we didn't need to do that. No. Hi, do you like watching us do this? Right, that's majority of the flooring in. Now we need to do this little bit here and along the bottom where we're gonna have to cut for. Not bad for the first one. The only thing we needed to do was go in around the edges and like chiseling away any little bits yeah. of like extra concrete that yeah, was there. That where the, left. Mm. But putting the floor down was pretty easy. Yeah. I had to get my brother's help for doing around the garage door because that was really fiddly. We smashed that out and that made a hell of a difference, didn't yeah. it? Like just having the flooring down made yeah. it look like an actual room. Yeah. But then because we got impatient and we needed to paint the ceiling, what we had to do is go to B and Q. Yeah, and get and that plastic. The plastic. Color. And sticky back plastic that yeah. you basically put over carpet when you're decorating. Right, we have moved everything up to this corner. Unfortunately, because we can't really put it outside at the moment, we're gonna have to shift everything up there. Now we're covering the floor because tonight my brother is coming to skim over and smooth out this ceiling so that we can get it painted. The lights are looking great though. And yes, I'm in my dressing gown. Once the ceiling was painted, we could finally start putting the kit up, couldn't we? Yeah. We had a day where we just hammered out putting the kit up. <laughs> oh my God! Every time the boys napped, we yeah. did the gym equipment, didn't yeah. we? Gonna be tricky. This like that, mm. and now tighten it. I've done it. I've done it. Oh my Lord. Let me do it. No, no. In terms of our gym equipment, we actually ordered ours the day after Christmas on Boxing Day. <laughs> we ordered it when they had a sale on. We saved so much money on the gym equipment, didn't we? Because we yeah. ordered it on Boxing Day. Myra Fit would highly recommend. We got yeah. all of our stuff from there, as you'll see. We ordered really it good. as like a bundle as well, didn't we? Yeah. Which again, saved money. So we're just putting this attachment on here, which is the cables. Yes. Right. And we did make a lot of mistakes. It was a mammoth task because we didn't read the instructions. Yeah. What's that? We've royally messed up. Oh! Tell them what we've well, done. There's no point in getting stressed about it. Let's just crash on. So, all the wrong way around. So, basically, we have to take it all apart to do it all again. These, these bits all apart. need to be the other way around so that this can slot on because that needs to be at the front. That's what you get. No, no, no. In. It's not rushing fast. They don't call me Genius McEllen for no reason. Genius McEllen? Yeah, like I'm a genius, but right. I like McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
I'm really confused. We do have to. Huh? Yeah, I'm not a genius. You're not a genius. No, I thought so. 300 bolts later, and we're back to where we were. Ellen's hogging this, and she won't let me have a go. But yeah, we got the squat rack built eventually. Yeah. And then we could start training then, couldn't we? And we yeah. were getting in sessions, which was just amazing. To and be we able did to train. several, it feels like hundreds of tip runs. Oh yeah, so many tip runs. That's one thing I would say as well with making a home gym. There is a lot of boxes, boxes, cardboard, off cuts. Mess. So expect to be going back and forth to the gym. Yeah. In fact, there's the still tip. stuff outside our house that still needs to go to the gym, to, to the gym, <laughs> to the tip. Then what we did is we took up the plastic didn't we? To yeah. kind of just finish off the gym. Yeah. In hindsight, we should have left this down because we still had a little bit of work to do, but impatient Ian. Yeah, I was here. impatient because it was really slippy. That's a good point. And actually. it was dangerous. Yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> so we took all the plastic up and then my dad came round, didn't he? My mum and dad came round again and dad helped me box in. We basically, the, the bit of the garage was an extension on this house. Yeah. And it was where the old door was going through to the house or the garage or something. Patching this up today, which is like an old doorway that they had on the house. So we've got a bit of leftover plasterboard. Me and dad are gonna go and get some wood now. Make a frame, is it dad? Yeah, make a frame for plasterboard. You with a drill, that's not a good combination. You with a drill. That's a great combination. Just this bit now. Just don't show Ellen the mess on the floor. Definitely cover your gym floors if you're working with plasterboard. I mean, it's completely our fault for taking the cover up. So now I'm scrubbing the floors. So another thing that we've had to do in there is we've got our washing machine and tumble dryer in there. Now it's all plumbed in to actually be in there. And I think for us to try and move the washing machine and get it plumbed into somewhere else, it's quite a big job. So we've decided to keep them in there. So what we've done is we've bought some washing machine cabinets cabinets covers i had no idea what to google when searching yeah this. we just built this whole washing machine cover cabinet thing what have they done now we've only given us two hinges and we need four so for the doors door. so now we got a holy cabinet and that hole in the door is from where i slid down the hallway <laughs> uh, i'm filming here surely have you checked under that tiny house? Poor tiny people. Hang on a minute, guys. I found something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were hiding. The hinges. Under the, under the mat. Take it back, take it back. Naughty little hinges. So yeah, we've um, built those and put them over the washing machine and tumble dryer, which they actually look really nice. Ellen loves a bit of flat pack, so she was in her element doing these. I do, I love flat pack. In fact, if there was a job for flat pack builder, You'd take it? I would take it. <laughs> now we're going to go and give you a walk around, show you how the gym looks now, and then talk about everything that we've got left to do, because mm -hmm. there's still a lot to do, mm -hmm. isn't there? So should we go and show them around the gym? So the most obvious thing is, as you walk in, is we've painted the whole garage black. Fab was a bit, little bit more skeptical than me. I really wanted to do it black um, and then have the spotlights, which it's actually worked out really well. And we've also painted the ceiling white. So I think it has a good contrast. Yeah. We've also changed our garage door. We've now got a roller um, garage door, which actually, when it's the sun's outside, it lets so much heat in. It's like a radiator, It does, it? yeah. Flooring is from Back Box. Um, yeah. It's the 15 mil one. It was actually really nice under your feet, isn't it? And it, was it is, yeah. And I was very one. skeptical about getting squares because of how one they well, 
if they would lie flat, if they'd be a bit wibbly wobbly, and two if they would line up. But it looks really, really good, doesn't it? It does. Told really you. Good. Ellen wanted to get one big one, didn't you? Yeah, so but we could just like roll it out. Now that you see how heavy these tiles are, yeah, you realise how so heavy, heavy a big one would have been. So you'll notice the boiler is still on show. That is something that we need to sort out in the future, but we will do that. But if Ellen spins around and shows you these, so we got these cabinets from a place called Vida XL, was it? Something like that. Yeah. Uh, they hide it away nicely and it makes the room look so much better and cleaner. Yeah. Doesn't it? And what, yeah. we, what we're potentially gonna do is screw these together and get a worktop and put it over the top eventually. So we've got like yeah. a cabinet area. Well, we're gonna see how much it is, aren't we? If it's yeah. too, if it's losing money, we're not gonna bother because we it doesn't need it. Doesn't need it, no. Little touches that we've done. <laughs> We have changed the plug sockets and the light switches. They used to just be white and very tatty, and we've now changed them to black nickel, so they're a bit shinier, and we've sprayed the cases black, yeah. which looks good. This is like the main area of the gym, so all of the kit we've got is from MyraFit, which I'm really impressed, actually, with the quality yeah. of it and the look of it, considering it was, like, pretty cheap. But this is half rack, I believe. And we got the one with, it's got a pull-up bar and it's got a cable system. So there's cables on the bottom and there's cables on the top yeah. because we just wanted the versatility, didn't we? Yeah, so we can pretty much do anything in this gym now. Yeah. The only thing like we haven't got is like, obviously, leg press. Yeah, and but... I think that's the only other thing we'd really use. You can do all your leg movements with a barbell, really, yeah, or exactly. dumbbells. Yeah. The only thing about having this system is that um, obviously the cable comes out quite a bit, which we didn't realize. So originally this was gonna go right to the back of the room, but now we have to push it forward a bit. Considering the amount of extra stuff you can do by having this cable, I think we don't mind compromising on that, do yeah, we? Yeah, exactly. Now, obviously we still have this back wall to paint, but if you can see this line here where we've painted, the mirror is gonna go from there to here. So the mirror that we've bought to go on the wall is gonna cover the squat rack. And I think it's gonna come up to about here, is it up? Like near the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah, right yeah. to that top bit. We've currently just got our mirror <laughs> from the house there at the moment, so we can see what we're doing. This window, I think, was the original window that was built with the garage. Yeah. We're actually gonna be replacing this whole window. We definitely like nicer. this window though, because it allows in lots of light. Yeah, and we're still gonna get a frosted glass um, on the window, but yeah, we're just gonna get something that holds the heat a little bit better, because, yeah. Yeah, it's all cracked. It is all cracked. Luckily, my brother is in this exact trade, yeah. so he is gonna come and sort the window out. Cheers, Phil, if you're watching. We've got our dumbbells. We haven't actually got a dumbbell rack yet. Um, we need to cough, get cough, one. Cough, cough, Myra Fit, if you want to send us a dumbbell rack. We've got 5, 10 and 15 kilograms. Yeah, dumbbells are expensive, man. Yeah, they are. It's very expensive. They're I mean, really weight expensive. in general is expensive, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then over here, we've got our plates, our weighted plates. These, I really love how these look. Yeah, they, they look really grey nice. and black. They just go so well with the colour of the gym, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. Black and grey is like our theme, isn't it? Yeah. And we got the black barbell as well, by the way, which is just looks so good. Yeah, we much really, preferred really this smart. instead of the Instead of the silver, silver one. Chrome, yeah. The only thing is we need to get something to put these on. Obviously they can't go here because here we're actually going to have our treadmill. Yes, it's um, going to go here, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to go right? down here. Oh. And then we're going to get... Should we address the elephant in the room? <laughs> oh, I know. I saw it earlier. <laughs> this is what you would have seen me and my dad boarding up. We need to spray this back, but for now, I've put the motto for all of you guys watching <laughs> to like and subscribe to this video. But this is going to be sprayed black. And then the plan for this is any cable attachments, like the bars, mm. ropes, mm. we're going to hang on here. Mm. And then we're going to get a smart TV to go up on the wall here yes. so that when we're doing our cardio, we can watch YouTube or And watch for the Netflix. boys, before anyone thinks, oh, you're bougie, putting a smart TV. It's for the boys as well. Yeah, so if the boys wanted to come in here and watch telly with us, yeah. then they can. Obviously, we are going to watch them like an absolute hawk because we know that there's heavy weights in here. But you well, know I mean, what kids are like can, when they're if older. If they can lift these, then they're going to be absolute tanks. Yeah, but like dumbbells and stuff. Kids just want to be with you, whatever you're doing when they're older, which is fine. In fact, I think it's a good, definitely good thing to see for them to see us doing like keeping fit and. For sure, 
I want to build them like little things so they can hang off and yeah. like get involved. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I used to love like going in. My dad has always been into running and he had a treadmill in the garage when we were younger. And I always used to go in there and like you mess know, around mess on around. it. We've got yes. a long mirror that's going to go here. I'm going to box this boiler in so that it's nicely boxed away because it is just an eyesore at the moment. So probably going to go like from here up to the ceiling, box it away, paint yeah. it nicely, yeah? Like Ellen said, we need some weight trees. I was thinking like maybe weight trees on the wall so that the plates can sit on there nicely. There's still quite a bit to do in here. But oh, yeah. in terms of like how far it's come. Yeah, we've like, done like we've all done the structural so stuff. Much. We're also gonna put some stuff on here, maybe like some supplements or like a mini fridge so we can put drinks in and stuff like that. Let us know if you have any ideas for that. And one thing I really want to do, but I'm battling Ellen on this one, is I want to get like some sort of quote or artwork sprayed on this wall because it's very blank at the moment. But Elle's not keen on that, are you? No. Why not? It's just chaos. I was going to get like your head sprayed on the wall for motivation. We're going to have another episode two, which will see us finish the gym. And then after that, we'll give you a full tour and a price breakdown because we've done it on a pretty good budget, haven't we, I would say. In the grand scheme of like home gyms. Yeah. And the amount we've done, we have done it. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. We've not spent a ridiculous amount. And the fact that we're going to use this like every day. In, the, lo in be... the long run, it's going to save us a lot of money. If you want to see us finish the gym and find out how much we spent and things like that, then subscribe down below. And if you've enjoyed watching this video, then please hit the thumbs up and comment and let us know what you think about the gym or any ideas that you've got to add to it. You can follow us both on Instagram if you want to see updates. And of course, we're going to be including this place in our videos now when we train yeah. and stuff like that. So we'll be showing a lot more training, which will be cool. We'll see you next week. Bye.